50 years ago, 54 years ago, next Thursday, November the 17th, 1957, my predecessor, Bob Sonnen, stood on this spot to conduct the first Sunday morning service in this sanctuary. When I came here two and a half years later, and by the way, it was already apparent that this room was too small, <laughs> I didn't know it then, I beg to say, and it took me way too long to figure it out. But part of the people in this congregation were in Greece, because here they were in this glorious new room which they had ordained and built because they knew that the time had come for them to move if they were to grow as they were growing. The time had come for them to move out of the beautiful church that many of them literally had helped to build with their own hands and where for over 25 years they had been married, named and raised their children, buried their dead. Yes, here they were having left behind the sanctuary they had long since set apart wherein to say their prayers and to sing their praises and where they had reached for God. Even accompanied as they were by others like themselves, still they felt like strangers in a strange land. And I, their new minister, didn't help much. But I know because I was a young man then, and I was in a hurry. But then those were the 60s. And like these days, there wasn't much time then. You remember, some of you here now were there then. I know you remember. Not that it made much difference to them with a lump in their throats a lump in their throats that, however proud they had to have been for what they had achieved and the courage they had shown in achieving it, a lump in their throats that wouldn't go away. I'll tell you a secret. I wish I'd known then what I know now, so that I might have been of some use to them, some of whom just drifted away taking all their joy and their grief with them. Some of whom, had I known better, might have stayed, hard as it was for them. So I know, I know only too well what feelings go with this beautiful, this hallowed place and what contemplating leaving it must mean if we are to grow as we are growing. And God knows for the sake of whatever things are true, good, just, and of good report in this town, we need to grow and grow. I know, believe me, I know what leaving here would mean. Could it be otherwise? But I also know that we have been through this before, when the time came. Verily, we have done it before. Behold, this glorious place, this beloved room, and all that surrounds it is testimony to it. Had we not been through it before, had we not done it before, we would not be here now. So, if it is in due course and with due diligence, what we again decide to do, I know we can. With the same goodwill and vision as graced our earlier selves, carry with us in the doing of it the spirit of this place once more renewing our calling, once more establishing the work of our hands, 
once more freshening our brave witness to an ever larger community that is all souls. <laughs>